assalamu alaikum today i will show you how to plot data using igor plot software at first you may feel that we get we already get data from the simulation software and we also get the ready made plot from the simulation software then why do we need to plot data again basically data plotting is a crucial part of publishing a research paper if you don't plot your data and using any data plot software and just export the images from the simulation software and put it in your journal then two cases may arise number one is that your journal paper may be rejected due to low image quality and other thing is that uh, there is a possibility that your journal uh, paper is accepted but the reviewers will suggest you to improve the quality of your journal so image quality of your journal so what do you need to do there are actually some other factors uh, of ex accepting a journal or rejecting a journal but uh, today i am basically focused on the quality of image if image quality is good then it will uh, give the reviewer an idea that you give some effort in your work so to increase the reliability of your paper you should focus on improve the image quality of your works of your of your submitted manuscripts so uh, today i will uh, show you how to uh, export an image from a software and then plot it using eager plot software so basically this tutorial uh, is um, done by using eager plot at first uh, i will like to export an image from a simulation software namely cst here if i export the plot data that is sk data of this image and i would like to save it as it is as one of the reflection coefficient i would like to save it as reflection coefficient in desktop you can save it anywhere in your computer so just save it so i save the uh, plot data here if we want to check this is the reflection coefficient and this is the plot data two columns are here uh, it's okay so our next step is very simple what we need to do oh, we need to go to eager plot now eager plot it takes some time to open <clears throat> so here we see this is the eager window here you see some icon like file, edit, data, and rises, statistics, macros, and etc. Uh, today, as um, our first task is to import the data. Okay, so load waves is the option to import the data. Click on load waves, and you will see load waves, load Igor binary, Igor text, etc. You will need to click on load general text here. I click on this, and here you see the rc in the desktop uh, if you data in uh, any other uh, places then you need to show whether it is in d drive e drive etc so just open it here you see two waves open wave zero and wave one so you need to make table be sure to make tables you can uh, if there are some columns here you see two columns if there are more than two columns and if you don't like to uh, load a column you can just skip the column so here we are going to load both the columns so don't need to skip anything just load it so here we see our data wave 0 and wave 1 namely wave 0 and wave 1 so our next step is to sort the data so for sort the data we need to go to window as it is a new curve new graph so we need to click on new graph here we see uh, in, interesting things here. There is X wave and Y wave. So our X wave data is definitely wave zero. If we check it, you can check it from the, our from our simulation software. So it is 24 to 32. 
is a range you can vary the range as per your requirement if i don't need 24 25 26 gig of data then you can plot it from 26 to 32 and you can plot uh, 0 to minus 45 here you can also plot by minus 5 to uh, minus 50 here uh, if you wish so what is your next tax your next tax is very simple just uh, select the x axis and y axis value so our x axis value is wave zero definitely and by default y axis value is wave one just do it so here is a, is our curve you may think that the curve, this curve is not up to the mark yes definitely it is not up to the mark at first you have to give some effort to increase the quality of the curve if you if you become when you will be become expert and you need some just one to two minutes or more nearly three minutes to plot a curve and make it a standard so as uh, i would like to share you how to do plot the data uh, that is why i will make this video landing and i would like to show everything uh, that you need in primary stage to improve the quality of a car after that i will make uh, some other videos to improve these images further so what do you need to do you need to click on the axis value there are two axis left axis and bottom axis so left axis okay click on left, left axis then that is we need to uh, we are going to improve the uh, quality of these uh, sites that at first i would like to uh, uh, here we see a difference between the axis and the plot data there is a small gap at first i'd like to oh, <coughs> minimize this gap uh, i would like to reduce this gap so for this uh, what i need to do is that it's very simple what you need to do just extend off just uncheck this and you will see this gap is um, banished so for here is the same problem so what you need to do you need to select on the bottom axis just uncheck the stand up so the problem is uh, reduced and after that our task is to define the axis value so uh, i'd like to go to the axis level axis uh, value i like to set the axis value so so to do so at first i'd like to do it for left axis So here is the axis range, minimum value, maximum value. We just need to check this and put put the minimum value that is minus 50 and the maximum value. I'd like to put just zero. So zero to minus 50. Then after that, would like to change the y axis value that is bottom axis value. Then we can select minimum and maximum here. Would like to plot from 26 to 32, or we can select 27 to uh, 31 here. So let's go for 27 to 31. Okay, then uh, you may feel that it's just open curve. How can one de decide at what is the bandwidth? What is the tandy value? What is the minimum band? Uh, minimum frequency? What is the maximum frequency? One may need to give some effort. So for this, there's a solution for this. You need to just uh, on the grid here. 
tick and grid go to tick and grid just for bottom on the grid okay to you have to do the same for the left just on the grid you can so now you can feel that there is a large gap between these two so what should you do now so there is a solution for this you uh, this is these are the major grid you can put uh, minor grid inside this major grid so for this uh, you need to select computed manual grid and go to minor ticks number per major ticks what will be the minor ticks just uh, for left side i'd like to do one two number per major trick i like to select five computer manual trick just uh, minor trick So what you need to do is that you need to at first define the tick increment. I'd like to define tick increment as 10. So the tick will be incremented from 0, 10, minus 20, minus 15. And I'd like to use number of major trick, uh, number of minor trick, per major trick is 1. So we got 0 and uh, then 5, minus 10. And these are the major tricks, minor tricks here. So I'd like to do the same for our bottom axis. So for bottom axis, just click on computed manual trick and trick increment is one here. Okay, and after you can define the decimal after point below, I'd like to give just <coughs> one point and number per major trick, I'd like to put just one minor trick here so here you see the curves are just uh, as not the square size they are rectangular in shape and our next target is to make the uh, curve more uh, beautiful more uh, um nice to see then what we need to do is that just select the axis range and um if i just change this value uh 24 to 32 i think it will improve the quality of the uh square now it's look better i think uh, you can uh, do it as per your requirement so there is some problem now. What is the problem? The axis is a dotted line. I would like to change the dotted line now. So for this, uh, what we need to do is that uh, we need to change the uh, tricks. So here is the style. You can just select for bottom axis, select uh, three here. Uh, then you can change the color here. So you can do the same thing for on the left axis, just on select uh, three and just select the thickness one one by four i think it's the better thickness you can select so you see the curve now become the major axis become on um, some straight line rather than rather than dotted line now what we need to do is that we need to make the dotted line for 
the solid line for both the major axis and minor axis so uh, for this uh, just what we need to do is that we need to make some modifications here So our uh, next task is to uh, label the axis. So how can you label your axis? How can you label your axis? I'll show you how can you label your axis. Before that, I'd like to solve the problem. What is going on here? The dotted line is still present here. I'd like to remove this line. And at first, I'd like to select the bottom again and then go it on. Then just select three and one by four here. Maybe there are some selection problem for this. Uh, the grid line are not transforming. So so the problem uh, I find out is that if I select just uh, four, then all the grids will change uh, to a straight line. Then comes to the left axis and just just select four rather than three. Then you you will get the straight lines here. So uh, still I feel that these are not uh, the square. So I'd like to improve the quality. Uh, for this, I like to change the bottom axis value and like to plot is as 24 to 32 now it's look like a square okay just do it so here is your is our curve next our next tux is to uh, define uh, the leveling the axis so how can you level the axis so to do so just uh, you need to click on level options and there are other options too uh, to level this just right button click on right button and then add annotation go to add annotation then select legend here and you see wave one so what is wave one wave one um so this is wave one you can plot the wave one on um, what is wave one you can write it here So axis level, you can level your axis. The bottom axis is our frequency. As it is our the frequency, then you can select the font from here. This is Arial selected. You, you can define the font size 14 okay 
then just uh, click on do it so here you see the frequency next uh, this is reflection coefficient so uh, we need to write reflection coefficient in axis level select left okay left is selected just write reflection coffee coefficient and as previously done we need to select the size mm, just before the raw name okay from size defined from size we can define it 14 or 12 keep both same okay just for we keep it 14 here you can change the font from here as for your requirement if you need to uh, include any special symbols you can do it by using this special uh, options i'll show uh, in other videos how to do so so just click on do it so here it is this is the reflection coefficient and this is the frequency still you may feel that this curve is not up to the mark so how can you improve it okay just click on the curve okay and uh, and you can select the color from here you can change the for uh, types of curve here you can also increase the size of the curve here okay just write two now what do you see now it's a better curve i think it's a better curve but uh, still there are some points you can improve uh, you can uh, feel that uh, this curve is definitely for something so uh, i would like to add annotation here if there are multiple curve you need to define of course you need to define annotation and as it is a single curve just i need to uh, add annotation for understanding purpose so this is uh, reflection for etc and for suppose suppose we design two antenna here we see reflection coefficient for antenna one okay just do it and here you see the line here oh no it's not uh, we can't Put the values here so what you what is next what you need to do just click on it and here is the option you can add the margin okay top margin i'd like to add top margin 0.56 suppose just do it okay so you can easily adjust it here you can uh, adjust these values reflection coefficient um just tick level offset use offset here okay it's minus point two suppose let's see what happened So you can move uh, here, here you see two points move reflection option move two points uh, left so by this way you can uh, move frequency reflection coefficient etc you can also add a scale for this just uh, include left scale 0.56 okay just do it if you want to improve it If it is not enough i think we should go for eight six maybe just do it okay now it's sound it's um nice to see what i think the quality of the carp improved 
if we uh, see the original curve this is the original curve and uh, this is the our plotted curve so i think it's a much better curve than the curve export if we export this curve you will definitely don't see a beautiful curve that's suitable for your journal i think uh, this video will help you to start sorting curves in eager float in uh, my next video i'll show you how to add several curves and how to improve the quality of the curves further so thank you for watching thank you everyone that's all for today hopefully this video will help you thank you